Alright guys, so when trying to tackle 365 activities all around New Zealand in 365 days, you're bound to have some rainy days. And that happened to us a couple of years ago when we were doing exactly that. And we were in Invercargill and we had to fill up a really, really rainy day. The best thing to do then is to head to the Bill Richardson Transport World Museum and check out hundreds if not thousands of vehicles. So check out this video and meet me at the end when I'm gonna go over some of the questions you had the first time we published it. See you then. Today it is raining heaps in Invercargill so we have to find ourselves a rainy day activity in the town and apparently there is the petrol's head paradise. So we are heading to the Bill Richardson's transport world and oh my god, it is huge! Transport World consists of six sheds, which are more like giant warehouses covering 15,000 square meters. This is one of the most extensive collections of cars in the Southern Hemisphere. And the first thing we're seeing is the really rare Dodge RX-70 Airflow tanker. This is the only one of its kind left in the world. Everything in Transport World is themed to the extreme and that's even including the toilets which the guide is taking us to now. The toilets have all sorts of oh car parts God, attached to them. There's also a vintage Betty Boop theme in the women's toilets. We make sure to visit every single toilet in Transport World. But enough about that nonsense. We are here for the cars and there is a huge variety of it. It's absolutely incredible the amount of stuff that they have put into Transport World. There are cars from every single ages, from the first like Ford A, B, C or whatever kind of letters they were to some of the later model. And it's really awesome to see them all pristinely restored. It's impossible to take any bad pictures here. Every car is super colorful, extremely well restored. It's quite impressive that they have succeeded to bring back to life so many of those old dodgy rides. And speaking of old dodgy rides, a massive section of the museum is dedicated to old trucks. Although I don't really have a fascination for old trucks, it's quite impressive to see the amount of them that they succeeded to cram into one warehouse and the massive variety that there is of it. Usually when in the street, I just see a big truck and I'm like, oh yeah, a big truck. But when you see them all lined up together, you can see the different use, the different profession that use those trucks. It's really interesting. And it seems that everything car themes is collected in this museum. There is even above the truck section a massive area where they have a massive amount of oil cans. There's even a mock-up of a street of what Invercargill used to look like back in the day. We're looking into a workshop which is meant to be representing Bill Richardson's workshop whose collection this all belongs to. And then we're moving on to our favourite part of the workshop which is the combi collection. These are all the cars we wish that we were traveling around in New Zealand, but some of the cars here you can actually hop into. This museum was created by a guy called Bill Richardson, which started this collection in 1967 and over the years he accumulated over 150 vehicles. When he died in 2005, the family estate came together and decided to create this massive museum in his name. And we keep on repeating how massive and huge this transport world is. It's actually an entire city block, there is so much here. There is more, she says. <laughs> Like we said before, we're not exactly petrol heads, but it's really hard to not be impressed by the huge scale of this vehicle collection. And also there's a huge amount of petrol pumps to look at as well, which actually look more like science experiments than petrol pumps. As we're moving through the collection, we do see some rare oddities as well, such as this interesting HUD signal for indication, as well as a few chassis and trucks put together. And then we're moving on to the agro agricultural side of things with a few vintage tractors and farming machinery. All the farming machinery is a new addition to Transport World and it's really an interesting addition of that because it tells us a lot about the farming industry in New Zealand and how much everything has evolved. It's impressive how intricate the machines have become and how simple they were back in the days. 
And because every single petrol head needs somewhere to send his wife to so he can check out all the cars, there is also a woman section of Transport World and this is the WOW. WOW stands for World of Wearable Art and it's a pretty big thing here in New Zealand. It's taking recyclable materials and making something crazy out of it. And that wraps up our time here at the Bill Richardson Transport World. It looks like tomorrow we're going to have to find some more rainy day activities to do in Invercargill, so make sure to join us then. Robin, <laughs> what's going on in here? Have you seen my toilet in? That's pretty epic, isn't it? Get out! <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see, there is, there is no better way to spend a good rainy day. I mean, you know, just add a hot cocoa into that day and you are sweet. There is really a lot to see in this museum and, you know, although since the last time we went there and we filmed that video, uh, a lot of things have been shuffled around and, uh, you know, the, the exhibition has changed a little bit, uh, you know, it still holds true to what the visiting the museum is, so I hope that it gives you a really good understanding about what this museum really looks like. So let's go over some of the questions you guys had the first time we published it and, and a lot of the comments were relating to the toilets. I mean we have Wayne Wall that um, said that he really wants a racing toilet seat and I have to say this is, this is a crowd pleaser. Uh, you know, the racing toilet seat did please a lot of people. But you guys are weird. Sometimes you guys come up with the weirdest question, uh, especially during our live session. Speaking of... Every single Sunday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time, we are doing a live session. That means that we stand right here with Laura and we answer all your questions about traveling in New Zealand. So join us there. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun to hang out and plan your trip together. Um, okay, we also have Shinji that says, being a car enthusiast, I found this place very interesting. It was great to be able to see things so close up. Thanks for this video. Well, you know, that, that's what we try to do. So here you go. Um, I... Really want to finish on that comment. I think that was really lovely. So here you go. Shinji, you rock. In the meantime, check out nzpocketguy.com. It's available 24-7 and you can pick on brain on them and on there. And there is heaps of articles to plan your trip to New Zealand. Here you go. Bye-bye. Thanks, Shinji, for the lovely comment.